Hey. Hey there, friends. What is happening? Vitaly Dovina is here, founder and creator of Bitcoin's Post Club System, where we are helping people become Bitcoin millionaires. And I'm so excited right now because I'm with the founder and creator of Crypto World Evolution, the software that helps regular people to enter the cryptocurrency trading space. So how are you doing, uh, 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 Thomas Perez? How are you doing, Mr. Vitaly? I'm doing well. First of all, I want to thank everybody for being watching us. And sorry for my English because it's my second language, okay? I live in the United States and didn't have time to go to school to finish that language study. So I'm doing well. Tell me, how can I help you, my friend? Yeah, my English is also my second language. I speak Hebrew, so that's good. Um, you know, I uh, really wanted to ask you, you know, you, you have created something so beautiful the software that helps people to enter the cryptocurrency trading space, which is huge. And people are so confused. There are like 1500 different coins, what to buy, when to buy it, when to sell it, all that kind of stuff. So I want people to know, first of all, uh, what, is you, what is this spark? What is this idea that like you got like, man, I gotta create this. I gotta put this together. I gotta create a software for people. What really, uh, driven you and motivate you to to come up with this uh, software and this solution. Okay, uh, if I want if I want to minimize what I want to say, I can say it's two different places that I want to go with this. One is legalizing, because I've been involved in network marketing for eleven years, selling products and services, and then when Bitcoin came around five years ago, involving Bitcoins and network marketing companies. You can say that all these companies are legal. The one thing that they do illegal is they're collecting people's capital. They're mm -hmm. collecting people's money. And they, they're using this idea of, oh, Bitcoin, nobody knows who's the owner. Mm -hmm. And my company is the same thing. Nobody knows who's the owner. Yeah, and yeah. that illegality, we have to change it. Because I believe it's a network marketing company that sells services. Mm -hmm. It's a network, market, network marketing company that sells products. Those are legal network marketing companies. One not a legal network marketing company that sells a service that is a software that helps people to strategize which coin is better and time solution. Mm. So we come out with that legality. And the second thing is teaching. I want to teach people. I, I want to teach people because I, I believe, you know, people get screwed but have no knowledge. And when people have no knowledge, they got fear. And the fear made people not to save their Bitcoins. I got people that have two years, they already heard about Bitcoin for two years. Right. And, I, and I applaud them and say, they are the millionaires. And their face are changing because they saw Bitcoin going for one hand to other hands and never hold it. Why they never hold it? Because they didn't believe in Bitcoins. And that's the reason they're not millionaires today. That's true. So tell us a little bit about your background, just a couple minutes, like how do you enter the Bitcoin space and what were some of the things that you've done up to the point where you decided to create Crypto World Evolution? Well, I, like many of you guys, you know, entrepreneur, uh, I come to the United States. I live in the United States for 16 years and my background is in law. My country, I'm from Peru. And I came to the United States and then I bought myself in real estate and then I bought myself in other businesses, sales. I was thinking that all my life I sell for me is easy. And then my friend called me about Bitcoins and I joined a Bitcoin revolution. I started learning about Bitcoin, trusting the Bitcoin system, not Bitcoin as Bitcoins that I can make money. Mm. Bitcoin is a technology that can help people. Yeah. And then when I realized the technology is so pure and transferable, that's one of my beliefs got so high and I want to invest my time and money through Bitcoin. So I joined, I joined a network marketing company. I think was the first one in the market uh, doing mining. That company is still around. That's a good thing. Uh, but it's still, they're collecting people's capital. So that's the wrong thing that they're doing. <laughs> but uh, I learned through them a lot about Bitcoins and then I put myself in the position to do trading. And the reason I want to do trading, not mining, is because when you do mining, your capital, you convert your capital in machines. Mm. And then when you need to get the capital, you cannot put those machines back to capital. So liquidity was a big issue. 
So I start doing trading because in trading, I can trade Bitcoins, altcoins, and, and never want to cash. I can change it for cash. Yes. And then I can go back to the market and right. I can change it for cash. So that's why I was more passionate about trading. And I joined another network marketing company that they was doing trading again in the wrong way, collecting people's money. <laughs> and nobody knows that really if they was doing or not trading by the end, but the good thing, the company is still around. Okay. Uh, but it was not a good decision to join the company. And that's when I got so sad and this, and I started trading just by myself. Mm. I traded just by myself and we figured out that the market needs software. We built the software with my friend Guillermo out of Spain. He's one of the best mathematicians, I believe, in Europe. And when we built the software, all my friends look at my happy face and say, Thomas, what are you doing? I said, I'm still doing the same, doing Bitcoins. Yes. Which company? No company. <laughs> I just do it trading by myself. Mm. And everybody wants to give me their Bitcoins. And I say, don't give me your Bitcoins. Why? Because I got two problems. One, I have Bitcoins to trade, but I cannot trade much with the people that I have. And second one, what about if I, if I get hacked? You're not going to believe me if I get hacked. Yeah. No, no. And I don't want to have the liability. So mm. one of my friends told me, say, Thomas, okay, if you don't want to accept my Bitcoins, why you don't give me your software? And that's when idea come around. I say, okay, that's a good idea. I can list my software to people so they can connect the software in their own exchange. In that way, they don't have to give the money to nobody. Always they have 100% control of their capital. Yeah. And that's totally legally. <laughs> I'm selling a software. Without thinking, we become a, a software providers. And then we have to build more strategies because we got first the people that they know what to buy, but they don't want to wait for selling. So mm -hmm. we got the hybrid. Yeah. And then we got the people that they don't care about what they're buying. Or they don't care about what they're selling. As soon as they see transactions and helping them. We got the HPSI. Mm. And then we got the people that are more conservative and they say, oh, you know what? Even if I make 10% a year, 20% a year, something that is solid, that doesn't have too much fluctuation. And we create something we call win-win. Win-win until today looks like it's very knowledgeable software that helps people to you know, to don't waste their time because the software does everything for everybody. We call it win-win, okay? So you get the idea. Yeah. We call it win-win. And it's helping people to understand. So not only we sell the software, we're training people about cryptocurrency, and we got so many people knowledgeable like you that are really right now doing what we should do, helping the people, entrepreneur to find a better solution in the market and they can really feel proud to sharing. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely amazing. So before you even launch the software to the world, you were using it yourself for a period of time yeah. successfully. And then people told like, Tomas, you know, I want to, I want to trade with you and no, no, no. And then you're like, Hey, why don't we create a software and we can provide a license for people and they can use the same software I'm using to produce my results and they can do the same, right? So yes, uh, that was the idea, very pure. <laughs> and tell me. Out of this out of desire to help people. So how tell us a little bit about how this software works. You mentioned HPSI, when we went a little bit like what what stands behind the software, like how it operates on a general level so people get an idea like what what it really actually what the software actually do. Okay, so this is the point, you know, we're living in different markets, okay? Um, that's the that's United States market, we got the European market, we got the Asian market. Mm -hmm. So uh, when Asia wake up, United States go to sleep. So that makes a, a little portion of time for, well, for, if we get the data for China and we get the data for United States, how fast, the information from one place go to the other place that indicates that this coin is going to go lower or this coin is going to go high in price based on how many people's buying and how many people selling. Mm. So 
if we get a data for different places and then we get a data for coin market cap and we get data for other coin desks, if we see all this data, I can see by myself the data, but it's gonna take me like a 10, 20 minutes to read everything. But if it's a software, that is two seconds. So our system, every 15 milliseconds, they check all this data that we bring for 12 different places. And the system make a decision based on the data, give you a result, that is they gonna hold it or sell it, the coin. Mm. So in that case, what we do is we follow the coins and to the highest potential they can go in price and before they goes down, we sell. Or maybe goes down a little that indicates us to sell. Mm. So in that case, we maximizing earnings for our members that are using the software. Still, sometimes we, we buy too, we buy for our people's coins based on the data for one month, one week, one day, one hour, and 10 minutes. And that can give us enough knowledge to say that this coin is gonna go up and we can buy. But we cannot say that we are 100% sure because the market can change any second. Even a news can change the market. This market is very volatile because when people read news, they become so scared and they can change the whole yeah, mood. Negative news, so, the coin goes down all of a sudden by, <laughs> you know, 20, 30%. It's all like, there's a lot of dynamic. I love this market. It's very volatile. It's very up and down. And, and that's the and that's the reason. And that's the reason we make money because the market is very volatile. And that, that's something that really helps. My, I got people that they, they do forest exchange. And if they make 3 4% a month, they're genius. And if you make 3 4% a month in crypto, you're not good. Exactly. <laughs> you know? yeah. If you're a real trader, you're not good. Okay, so it's totally different. But I, I can say you guys this, okay? Uh, as much as I want to teach you how the bot works, it's better you try yourself, okay? And you can buy this as an investment, and every investment has a risk. And you know, this is the worst risk. If you do it with us, you should learn and you must learn through our system. We got good, good classes, good people with a lot of knowledge. And I don't believe, I don't believe that you're wasting your money here. I believe you're making a real investment for yourself. So thank you so much, my friend Vitaly, for inviting me to your meeting. And I hope everybody in this audience takes something and take it for good. We're moving forward. We're going. And we are the only company right now that doing things in the right way. See you guys. Thank you so much, Thomas.